Hello everybody, welcome to the ABB GMD factory in Bilbao. Here we produce the biggest motors in the world. A gearless mill drive is one of the biggest electrical motors in the world. Its purpose is to rotate the mill to grind the raw material in the grinding industries. Hello, my name is David Miguel and I am principal mechanical engineer. Hello, my name is Julian Fernandez. I work as a product lead engineer and today I am going to show you how we manufacture the bars for a rig motor. Here we have a complete quarter of a GMD. This one suffered a damage during a transport in the port. It might seem small, but it's not. We had to completely replace this stator quarter and now it serves us as a training center. Yep, so if you follow me, we can see all the components of the machine. Obviously, everything is placed over the stator frame, which is made of steel. Here we have the magnetic core, which is made of uh, metal seams. One machine can have up to 120,000 seams. Those seams have this shape, okay? This is quite special because it has some holes for the cooling system, so air is forced through these holes for refrigeration. And also, you can see the slots. Inside the slots, the bars are assembled. And now we will have a look to the manufacturing process to develop a whole bar. Here we are in the first station of the bars production line. And here we have a bar, or actually we call it a green bar, because it's the raw material that we get from our supplier. Uh, it is made of individual strands instead of being a solid copper block. And these strands are isolated between them and are changing position along all the straight part. This is to optimize the current flow and to distribute the heat. So now we are going to the bending machine. Here we take the straight bar, we put it in a bending machine, and we get the basic shape of the bar. Once we have the bar bended, we can differentiate between two main parts. One is the straight part, which goes inside the magnetic core, and the other one are the heads. We have one head here and the other head there. What we do is to cut the excess of strands and we solder a copper block to facilitate the soldering and close the electrical circuit. So now we have the bar complete and let's go to isolate it. Okay, so now naked bars are ready to be wrapped. This is our wrapping machine. Wrapping is important because it separates the active parts, which is the copper circuit, from the rest of the parts. For this reason, we are using two kinds of tapes. Uh, once these two tapes have been placed, we use another one, which is temporary, and this allows us to continue with the next process, which is the vacuum pressure impregnation. Okay, so here we have our pressure tank where the bars are now being impregnated. Once they get out, we will put them into an oven. In the oven, we will cook them at 120 degrees for more or less 13 hours. Once they are out, we will remove the white temporary tape and we will have the bars pretty much finished. And they will look like this, fresh and shiny. Okay, so now the bars are ready to be tested. We test the 100% of the bars that we manufacture. This is because it's such a key component in the machine. The bar must withstand about four times their nominal uh, voltage in operation. This means around 20 kilovolts. So once the bar has passed the test, it is individually stamped and they are ready to be assembled in the stator. Okay, so here is where our journey ends. Uh, once each bar has been individually validated, we come here to the stator and we do the winding process. So the winding consists on inserting one bar at the bottom of the slot and another bar at the top of a slot. Once all the bars have been introduced, we solder these copper blocks in between so we can close the electrical circuit. And then we place an isolation cap uh, to isolate the electrical part from the environment. And that would be all. Okay, so that's been all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope that this uh, video about these amazing motors has been of your interest.